Hey everyone, we're playing Blood Nova, which is uh, currently on Kickstarter. And uh, yeah. they actually reached their goal, uh, so that's super cool. And uh, I know there's a game, I don't know anyone, I don't know everyone who makes this game on the team. I know Cosmic Void makes this game, and uh, they've been pumping out games like crazy. Like the latest one was a horror game and it looked really cool. And um, I haven't played uh, any of them, I must say, but they look amazing. I heard like the, the previous one, which was called something I can recall right now. I'm not very prepared for this stream. It was a horror game, uh, kind of like a first person sort of uh, game. Oh, nice. I'm not sure if it's a first person though, but it kind of feels like it's someone's perspective every time you look at the... Oh, nice animation. Every time you look at the uh, rooms. Uh, and I'm really digging the sunky pixels and... Yeah, this is really nice. There. I like the sound effects on the menu and then yeah. that. Shoo. It's really it, nice. it looks like someone did it with their mouth. <laughs> okay, we all good? Nice. Hi, Volpi. Still very quiet. The music is that is, they say. Uh, oh, you you fixed that. Uh, there's four of us on the BN team. Davor, says Ross. Nice. Are you guys like always making those games together? Because you've been pumping them out like crazy. Like I'm impressed by your uh, productivity levels. The corruption within. Thanks to Luxtox. That's the one I was trying to think of. Mm. Okay. Yes. New game. The spark that would become the Valerian Empire began in the age of astrologers. Those men and women who reach for the heavens and wrap their fingers in starlight. There are their hands. Ooh, very pretty. With the navigators to guide them, they tra trace that light across the galaxy, weaving worlds and crafting. Yep, but the dreams those worlds themselves on eventually exacted a price. And the children of the astrologers did not wish to pay, so the navigators pointed beyond, and the children followed, and the empire was born. Yeah, that that empire has reigned peacefully for over the three centuries, even as distant galaxies connected to the empire by a string of star channels have been wrecked by war. Now the empress is abdicating the throne. Her eldest daughter, Princess Love, will take her place. Hello, Princess Love! On her way to reluctantly assume the throne, Love has stopped at an interstellar lighthouse called the Leaping Veil, which stands watch over a star channel on the edge of the galaxy. It's like trying to read quickly, but it's hard. As she and her royal sentinel, Kel Yakovan, contemplate their new future, dark forces prepare to realize a future. We could just... Love, we could just stay this way forever, you know? Just me, you, and a life of cosmic hijinks. You in? Do I click? I've got Maybe my Maybe the other person was not love? Oh, well, I, I didn't know if it was a cutscene or not. I think so, yeah. That sounds cool, but there's a slight problem, love. You're about to take the throne. I mean, someone should say that. Forget the throne, forget it all. Let's say we don't get on Lady Quelter's Quel yacht, yacht, yacht tomorrow. Let's say Liz takes the throne. This game is breaking Sarah, <laughs> someone's sex. <laughs> No, it was just saying it quickly. Wait, let, let's read chat for a second. What's going on here? Um, <laughs> so there's apparently, it's your first uh, game together, says Ross. Uh, Devor says, more things I can read. And I've, you were looking for another limited palette artist. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, making Blood Nova and also casually making Tachyon Dreams too. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm. Also, that's your lo love's official voice now is Sarah. Not bloody text, fix, promise. Okay, cool. <laughs> But we downloaded the game today, right? So, or did you download it yesterday? I don't know when the update came out. Avid's portraits were so good between uh, initials and initials. I don't know. Blood Nova. Uh, it's canon. Love is Costa speaking in falsetto. No take backs. I didn't. I wasn't love. Um, the other one. Did you we, start we, speaking we, for love? No. I didn't think that happened. <laughs> I, I never spoke. You were the one who almost had the, the breakdown while reading that. <laughs> okay. Forget the throne. Forget it all. Let's say we don't. I already read that. Okay. Yep. My sister's way, my sister's way more suited to the whole ruling thing. Oh no, way that word. Ooh, super pretty uh, portrait. Mm. I get where you're coming from, love. I do, but this kind of thinking won't help you prepare for what you have to do. I don't want the empire, and you, and you know it. I shouldn't have to do anything but decide my own future. It's tradition for the eldest daughter to assume the throne. It's how it has always been. It's, it's what you were born for. Screw, tra screw tradition, and when did you ever care about that sort of thing anyway? You've been so weird lately. What happened to my fun-loving, live-and-let-live royal sentinel? He grew up on the far side of the star channel. Worlds are burning. 
people are dying. Lately, I haven't been able to stop thinking about that. I know it's horrible, but it's not anything the Empire can fix, is it? Are they chilling in space? Are you so sure about that? Kel, if there's something you want to say, say it. In fact, as your princess and future empress, I am ordering you to say it. Now you're getting into the spirit of ruling. Don't change the subject. Speak. All I'm saying is you need to start thinking about your, the bigger picture. When your mother abdicates, this galaxy will be yours. Yet you're one of the least responsible people in it. Maybe it's time for you to grow up too. You know you're the worst. Best friend ever. Nah, I'm not. Come on, let's head back inside to get more graphics of this. We're definitely not supposed to be out here. Wow, you really have changed. Part one, hit a nerve. That's weird. The hatch is sealed shut and the console's telling me the lighthouse has gone into lockdown. That's weird. There's a lock there's a lighthouse in space. <laughs> Probably a false alarm. Give me a couple of minutes to override the access panel and then we'll find out what's going on. Ha, I tricked Sarah. I'm the main character now, apparently. No, I'll solve this. Ha. No. What? Why? It's easy enough to. Because I'm going to prove to you that I can be responsible. Love, come on. Stop fooling around, yeah? Don't even think about touching that console. You know what? Fine. Knock yourself out. Tutorial. Before you begin your adventure, here's what you should know. Your map is accessed by hovering over the map icon in the bottom right corner and selecting a location. Uh -huh. Your inventory is accessed by, accessed by hovering over the inventory icon in the bottom left corner. Left click to select an item. Right click to return the previously selected item to the inventory. When you hover with the mouse cursor over interactable objects, you will see a red or blue icon. A red icon means new interactions are available. Oh nice! A blue icon means all interactions have been currently exhausted and the last one will repeat. The last one will repeat. The last one will repeat. Are you... Oh, right, right. The last action will repeat. No, I was confused. I thought there was like another option. Do you realize that you're rereading the last one will repeat, the last one will repeat? Yeah, I was trying to understand it. Which is... Do you get the irony of that? <laughs> <laughs> Press escape for options. That's it. You're ready to carry on adventuring. Noise. Um, what's happening in the chat? Uh... Uh... Oh, it's uh, Deluxe Sack says it's canon. Love is cast of speaking falsetto. No take back. Sees Dave says I was rewatching the perilous while playful and the theropods voice acting and misacting too much. Misacting. All the costas falsettos. <laughs> <laughs> Lighthouse in space probably blinks or pulses to distinguish from a regular star. It sounds to me like you you guys are complaining that I don't do uh, extreme voice acting for this game. So maybe we should get back to it. <laughs> Uh, that will make the developers uh, <laughs> appreciate this. <laughs> Deluxe Wait, is digging the line dancing tonbirds and stream avatars. Uh, just uh, uh, what's going on where? Ooh, that's pretty. Is that the use icon? Oh, it's so sparkly. I'm it's like so that. big. The air bubble nice. I wear for nice space walks. Oh, okay. A nice sound effects. Ah, the sound effects. <laughs> okay, um... Talk to Kel again. Oh, you are love now. We're playing as love. Yeah. The security console. It says the lighthouse has gone into an emergency lockdown. I'm sure it's fine. Where's Where's love in all this? It's sealed shut. Like looking, like from our perspective, maybe. It's sealed shut, but not for long because I'm going to open it somehow. The access panel. I have no idea how to work this thing, and I'd rather not embarrass myself trying. I'll have to find a different solution. Waiting for your brilliant solution, princess. Okay, I mean, I guess we can go to... So... Where are we right now, though? Okay. This pipe looks worryingly loose. Oops, I pulled it free. Hope it wasn't attached to anything important. Perhaps it will help me unlock the hatch, although I am struggling maybe, to see how. Maybe you should pipe down a little. <laughs> so we have that now? Oh wow. It's got hollow ends. Kel and I are always looking for these little spots. There's nothing quite like being out here. Stars lighting the path through infinity. 
I love the thrill, but truthfully, it's the only place where being a princess doesn't seem to matter. I feel so small, and that's a relief. I like the music. Kale said she was growing up. I'd like it if it didn't mean the end of our little adventures, but it's hard to picture them when I'm destined to sit on that damn throne. Jaber says it's very interesting how often space operas have monarchies. Hmm. Monarchies are the king in those uh, scenarios. Why is it blue? Oh, because you used already. Yeah. The father's star channel from the Empire's heart. They call it Quinzar. It's strange that something so beautiful could lead somewhere so terrible. Beyond that pulse of effervescent light roams an endless succession of cruel warlords, each fighting for control of an anarchic galaxy. Donovan, Donovan uh, Young? Is that how it's pronounced? The, the music is amazing. It is good. Ross. It's really cool. I really like the colour palette as well. Yeah. Um, the astrologers created the lighthouses centuries ago when our curiosity overcame our caution. Now the channels are strictly po policed. As a girl, I was always afraid that our whole galaxy might slip through. Quinzar, a deceptively beautiful cosmic phenomenon pulsing with... Is it... Is it looking at me? I feel like Wait, it's looking on. at me. <laughs> the sound palette. <laughs> So, wait, first of all, what is this icon? I'm really confused. This Looks icon? Like I don't know, but it's pretty. <laughs> yeah, and then it turns blue when we've already uh, done the action. Yeah. Okay. So there's nothing new, it's just going to say the last thing. And when it's red and like doing sparkly stuff, it's because there's new stuff to say. Okay, okay. The moon of Felonir, home to a race of flying cats, <laughs> who refuse to so much as even recognize the Valayan Empire. Is About that why there's a catwalk there? <laughs> About a hundred years ago, my great-great-grandmother couldn't stand it any longer and created a peace agreement with the cats. The cats refused to yeah. sign. I also love the sound effects, I must say. Mm -hmm. So she attended the signing ceremony herself and had someone dress as a cat to sign. On behalf of Felonia, she was insane. <laughs> What's going that on? That sounds like the best plan. Mm, I'll dress up as a cat. <laughs> Fairy. The moon of Felonia, home to flying cats, apparently influenced by energy emitted from the star channel. I should move there. You should move there? Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of cosmic voids in Cosmic Voids games, says the Luxdux. That's kind of a running theme. <laughs> yeah, I've never played a game with cosmic voids or in this one. What's going on? Light horse arboretums tend to mimic local worlds. But the Leaping Veil is so far out that this one is filled with flora from one of the capital planets, Albaca, my mum's home. Away from the metal and the noise, it's just me, the gardens, and a little bit of mum. It's all I have left of her now. Okay. The, word. the pond's full of an an mehi, a rare party-coloured fish native to Albaca. Proximity to star channels breeds Sorry. Proximity to star channels breeds illegal trade, and there's always black market scandals. Here on the Looping Veil, vale, someone was caught stealing and mayhi from the pond and selling them for a profit. A quaint little pond full of a mayhi fish, strictly no fishing. Is this green thing moving on its own, or are you doing anything to it? No, I'm not doing anything okay, to no. it. Wow, what's this doing out there? It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's like you're, you're super unconvincing. Wow. Wow, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of pretty gems in my life, but there's something different about this. It's like a really small version of the orb atop the lighthouse. Seems foolish to just leave it floating around out here. I'll take it. Hmm, I guess the orb could slot into the pipe's opening. Well, okay then. Behold my, um, magic wand, glow stick, whatever. I'll take it back to Kel and see if it inspiration strikes. Albaca is renowned for its diverse vegetation. The whole planet's covered in lush jungles with huge tree canopies. This is a really tiny variant of what would ordinarily be the size of, like, the entire Arboretum. The noble watcher of the interstellar travel, Core Haven Sphere. They're intended to bring luck to those journeying across the stars. Some people believe each statue contains a seed of the navigators, and when the stars align, or the time is right, they can come to life. Can we go back to the flying cats story? You want me to go back? No, I'm just to... saying to the, the game, okay. go back to that. It's a cute thought, I but... want more info. 
Oh yeah, I want to see them. I want to visit the planet. Yes, I want to see the person who dressed as a flying cat. But obviously nonsense. Why would the navigators want to talk to us? Oh, Francisco says albahaca. <laughs> albahaca means basil in Spanish. I wonder if that's intentional. Sleepyhead. Looks like someone's taking a snooze. Think I'll join them once we're back inside. <laughs> oh, they look, they look dead, but that's less sinister. These twining plants take all sorts of shapes, making them ideal for, for games of hide and seek. I played the game with my mum whenever we visited Albaca. I, I know it's a ton of work, but I, I sort of wish there were some slight animations on these uh, backgrounds uh, because they're gorgeous, but then I assume it would take like two extra years to finish this game if hmm. that happened. These mushrooms can grow several meters high, ideal for bouncing. I did that the last time I was here and ended up in the pond, so worth it. Oh, the it's, the it's in silent albac albaca then. Okay. Yeah, but I don't get the basal uh, reference. Did it say I, I I missed the point? A bouncing mushroom. I don't know how you pronounce a bore a bore a Don't. How do you spell it again? <laughs> how do you pronounce it? I don't use the word all that much, so I don't actually know how it's spelled. Um, yeah, there's a bouncy little new mushroom. words for me here. That's all you have to say about this? I know the word, I just, yeah, I just don't use it. I don't remember. Okay, so uh, we want to go back to the hatch. We want to show her that. Ta-da! Love, I adore you, but it's a pipe with an orphan stamped into it. How exactly do you plan to use it on the hatch? Uh, we smack the console with it. Problem solved. No problem created. No, problem created. That will break the console and trap us in the catwalk. I mean, it might not. It might just open it. Okay, go ahead. Break the console. Uh. I'm waiting. Um, not gonna do that. Didn't think so. You already cracked the security console, didn't you? I did. Hats is open. Let's get back inside. I'd like to know what triggered the lockdown. Okay, Sarah, so you're basically reading everything outside while I did the work. Okay, but let's tell people we smacked the console with the wand. I made the, I, the, the wand I made to open the door. That would be to admit uh, we were too dumb. Uh, that would be to admit we were dumb enough to get locked out uh, of the lighthouse. Is that what you like the future empress of, you know, the galaxy to be known for? Just go inside. <laughs> Hey. Oh, that's me. What's up with that worker? Hey, lady, are you okay? Wait, the air, it tastes... <coughs> it can be. Cough, cough, it's cough, in cough. the air. Kel, are you okay? What's in the air? Love, don't remove your bubble. There's neurotoxin in the air. Body's on fire. Oh, no. I can't stand... <coughs> Shit! That one's dead! I'm lucky. Another few seconds and I've been down for good, too. Not sure how much longer that will stay. That will stay. That will last. Please don't let this toxin have leaked through the lighthouse. Um, don't let me be the only sentinel left. A leak? Is that what sentinel triggered the lockdown? Uh, if we're lucky, that's a high chance that uh, this was an attack. Why would someone want to attack a lighthouse? Oh, love, what do you think? M me? You need to stay here until the rescue ships arrive. In the event of an emergency lockdown, the lighthouse custodian will have dispatched the stress call. Help should already be on its way. Can you hold out until they arrive? Don't even think about leaving this room, princess. You're not equipped. No way I'm gonna stand here and watch you die. Tell me what I can do, or I swear I'll go anyway. Sometimes you make my job really, really difficult. And it'll be impossible if you die. Is there anything in this lighthouse that can help? Okay, alright. I'm pretty sure that toxin circulating in Plethora X. It's a weaponized nerve gas. If I want to live, I've got to get it off my... Uh, I've got to get it out of my system real soon. There's an antidote for Plethora X in medical, the level below us. How could you know that? And why is there nerve gas in the lighthouse? Do you want answers to your questions or do you want me to save or do you want to save me? Antidote for mysterious nerve gas. Pl 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 
Plethora Z. X. X. Plethora X. X. That's what I said. Anything else? Just be careful. Be very, very careful. Back soon. Don't die, please. Okay, let's not be quick by reading everything. <laughs> yes, it's gonna be like the ladders have been created. Sure, a pipe in the middle of of the room. Why not? It looks kind of new. What's that weird stuff inside? It goes now down to medical, some, uh, which is where I need to be going. Now we have some urgency, so it's not gonna give us exposition about the entire galaxy for a little while. Cartridge broken beyond repair. Okay. Dead, which is what Kel's gonna be if I don't get a move on. I found the ladder. I found the ladder key. Oh, there's a key for the ladder? Rifling through her pockets. There's a memo here too. Let's not make taking from the dead a habit. The memo reads, Check new installation according to specifications reported all in good shape. Although What's again, I had to stress... What? What's that green text? The computer? It's the memo. It's the, oh. the note or whatever. I mean, you can read it if you want. No, no, go ahead. Although again, I had to stress that until they tell us how whatever it is they've installed and engineering is meant to work i cannot approve of turning the damn thing on they say it's a new power generator but if that's the case why not just let the engineering staff assess the equipment for themselves what's that pipe the diagnostic readings on this console are basically gibberish to me i really like how it's the again the uses of like green and purples in this background Mm. And it works because before it was grass, so we're like, yeah, okay, it's vegetation, the green yeah, grasses, yeah. Uh, and the yeah, space the is purple, but now it even works indoors. Yeah. There's nothing I can do for her, she's gone. Okay, uh, what's this? It's a cartridge reader. I'm a princess with too much time on her hands and an amateur interest in electronics. So I know that with the right cartridge, you can, mani you can manage system diagnostics from the terminal. Cartridge reader, not a Kel saver. If I had a cartridge, I might be able to do something. Okay. Ladder. There's an electronically locked hatch below blocking passage. I think it's tied to the terminal on the right. Oh, that. It opens or closes the ladder hatch blocking the passage halfway down. It requires a key card. Okay, do we have that now? It accepted the card opening the hatch. I can now climb down to the lower deck. Unlocked. I better climb down and find that medicine. Oh, right. We have to do this now. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Security kiosk. Damn, the guard's dead as well. There goes any hope of this all being a bad dream. I really wanted to find someone to save Kel, but it looks like it's up to me. With any luck, the kiosk can show me where to go. Now also you started animating the background, so it's cool. Mm. Wow, it's a creepy... Is that the reflection? What's that? Uh, Russ says the demo's a little one. wordy. The, the present build is like uh, reading a novel. Is like reading a... Why do I have a oh, feeling? I really, really like the screen. The searching bodies thing is definitely on its way to becoming a habit. Security pass, great. I shall take it begrudgingly. You know what I also Begrudging. really like about this visuals that it's like it feels like it could be a genuine old game uh, mm -hmm. from like all the screens, right? Mm -hmm. If, if the music was like blippity bloopity, then it would be even more. Which I understand because even, I like even that we it's didn't not. do that in our game. Yeah, yeah. I like that it's not uh, too. But like the visuals are great because they're sticking to this minim uh, minimal palette and it feels like super genuine. Okay, go on, sir. Disgraced former security chief, Max Line Star. That's totally a made up name. Star produced a series of self promotional posters and had them distributed throughout the Empire. Then he turned out to be a fraud who cheated his way to the top, yet still he has his devotees. Uh, your friend is dying, can you, like. Yeah. <laughs> Cole, Gars, and Zeta giving up the runaround. What are they up to? Seems like he was suspicious of the lighthouse's doctors. Suspicious of dying. Cup of tea. A cup of cold tea. I usually take it warm. Okay, um. I reckon these phones are linked to the control level at the top of the lighthouse. Can't hurt to try the emergency number. No one's picking up. Okay. Uh, how about us picking it up? My guess is the guy's security terminal. Maybe this will help me find where the medical well, supplies are kept. Let's see. This guy's you, terminal. You, you read the green. Sorry, it's a bunch of pixels. Keeper, keeper Kreb? As requested, I have been monitoring Dr. Lamb... So far, I have nothing concrete to report. He's uh, diligent in his work and liked by everyone. 
I have noted he is suspicious of my posting here and is likely aware I'm shadowing him. <laughs> Deluxe sucks as we're on a two game cold tea strike. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> We, we were also in the... Oh, we didn't have a bathroom in the previous game, but we had one at the beginning. We had the, a cat. I was trying to find our bingo. Uh, but, but that may not mean he has something to hide. It is possible he is simply disturbed by my presence. It might help, Keeper Crab, if you were to tell me what I was looking for. Yours of Sir Brick's Fenton. Golan Crab, the Looping Veil's Keeper, sent a reply. Fenton. Um... You have been entrusted with a special task to keep tabs on Dr. Colgast. Why that task has been assigned to you is irrelevant. He is a doctor with a particular set of duties, and you are an officer who is to report any deviation from those duties. I have upgraded your security pass to permit access to Colgast's office. I shall request a meeting with him uh, the day after the princess's arrival. Once I have provided the time for that meeting, you are to inspect his office for questionable material. Do your job, do it well, and you will be rewarded with death. Keeper Crab. Okay. That's uh, a very informative, but can we save our friend from death? These are diskette drivers. Diskettes are typically loaded with a set of specific codes, allowing you to remotely control different parts of the lighthouse. It's a lens that can emit a high intensity beam for recalibrating the guards but visors or lighthouse security personnel wear one. The visors look sort of spooky honestly. Then I remember that owners have all sworn allegiance to me. It's not something that fills me with confidence. Uh, lighthouse keepers were suspicious of Dr. Colgast so much so that they dispatched Bricks here to keep an eye on him. Kreb even updated Brick's security pass to access the doctor's private office. No, Why be suspicious of the doctor though? Even Bricks didn't know. Um, secure. Where do I use this? There. I feel like I'm asking for more than the security pa pass is able to give. I will security pass. What do I? What do we do? Oh, surgical area. I've hated places like this ever since I was a kid. When my mother, the Empress, married her handmaiden. When, I wish where, the when she married her handmaid, there was quite a scandal. You wish what? I wish you were playing the demo of <laughs> the actual game. But all that was forgotten when the wife of the Empress became ill. Now places like this are nothing but bad memories of, of me. Bliss and my mother watching watching mum slowly die. I won't lose Kel as well. Centrifuge. Well, if you, if you keep uh, reading everything, you might lose Kel. Ooh, a scalpel. A sharp uh, instrument for surgical incisions. Kel did say to be careful, so I best take it. There's some sharp observations there. Hmm. The lighthouse's medical facilities are mostly for the operating staff, but this close to the star channel, they see a lot of different patients. Yikes, it seems the last patient seen here was su suffering from the horrible Gakoya blood disease, which came from beyond the star channel. There was a recent outbreak near here devastating some of the more isolated provinces. Fast and dark, but po but pocked with light. The lights of an empire. My empire. Should that much power even be possible? If we just stayed on that catwalk outside the lighthouse, if we just kept that hatch closed, would time have stood still for us? Hello, Hello Mega Hammer Studios. Mega Hammer Studios. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, wall panel? Locked. I need to find security pass to reach the doctor's office. Well, guess what? Try this out. That did it, I can now enter the doctor's office. Okay. A small glass container with a tightly sealed lid could potentially come in handy. Noise. A device used to separate- Oh wait. Mega yeah. Hammer Studios is the composer of the game. <gasps> nice, hey. grooving, grooving to the music. Very Super nice cool music. music. <laughs> yeah, great, great work. <laughs> um, a device used to separate liquid and gas in a file. Um, there's three different settings, temperature, speed, and time. What's a file? Like a vial, but also a figure uh, <laughs> <like your> one. <laughs> uh, here it is, the medicine cabinet. I'd say that this was pretty easy to find, but it's locked. What looks to be the key slot is tubular and about the size of a file. That's a really weird looking locking mechanism. Locked. I need to find the key based on the locking mechanism. I'm looking for a file. Okay. Um. 
So, okay, oh, yeah, I keep forgetting I need to use this to go to okay, doctor's Figure office. Be careful to file this mission. Oh, another one. Uh, from the moment I saw the dead officer, another I knew... Another dead officer. Yeah. There's a corpse behind the letters. <laughs> Is it? Oh, yes. okay, yeah, 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 I see it now. I knew what I was likely to find in this place. A man I trusted the whole... A man I trusted a whole lot was going to be right here. Dr. Colgast, uh, who could melt away my fears with just a smile. And so he is, only never to smile again. And I'm so afraid, Doctor. Correct with the heads over there. <laughs> Dr. Colgast, Lem, it's hard to have friends when you're a princess, but I like to think he was one. I'm sorry I have to do this, Doctor, but I'm kind of in a bind here. Let's see what you've got. Ha, huh, it's a note. Well, Dave was pulling the moves there and said, um, e e Estria, we've made arrangements for the next ship to transfer you to a safer place. Be ready, K. K, now I'm going to die by. That's you. Oh, thank you. I wonder who Estria is, or was, if they failed to get her on that ship. Let's hope for the former. Ooh, a sturdy chair. Oh, a snug chair. A snug it's chair sturdy. that holds snug memories. <laughs> okay, cabinet. S there snug memories next to a snug body. There are different kinds of potions and medicines in the cabinet, but not the antidote I'm looking for. There's a potion for the psychic contamination, which sounds totally awful. Another for, wow, unexpected physical malformations owing to one, wait, what? I-1-1 one, one advised experimentation with, yeah, okay, I guess it. Uh, there's one for ungluing that prevents the sticking of dangerous substances, much simpler. I'll take it, but it's the only one here, so I should use it wisely. So that's for ungluing, okay. A model torso for doctoring stuff. Other than their heads, they say Ju Juvolgians have two of a few other things. Okay. <laughs> this one's heart looks like it's about to fall out. Can we grab the heart? Ugh. Okay, that's super weird. He had an os oscillator hidden behind the heart. Why hide a device like this? The oscillator can measure the pulse of literally anything with a beat, animate or in uh, or inanimate. I'll take it. It okay. feels hard to tax. Even if he'd had the time to react to the toxin's release, I doubt this oxygen tank would have helped the doctor. A passcode is required. Short of other options, I could try the name from Colgast's note. Estria, was it? That works. I'm in, I guess. She, sorry, I'm in. I guess she meant a lot to him. There's a message here sent from Lem to doctors, Dr. Zato, the surgeon, just last night. Um, uh, yeah, Dave, or you would think, but Dr. Zato, I'm afraid your suspicions may be Yeah, I'm afraid your suspicions may be correct. If so, then we, and perhaps the entire network, are in a very grave danger. Well, good pointing, Dr. Zato, from your corpse. My main concern is Officer Brex. As I'm sure you're well aware, he is keen to police that which requires no policing. First, his vigilance was irksome. Now it's downright alarming. I've been able to acquire a sample of the antidote you requested, but if it's here in the quant uh, quantities you say it is, then it will do little to help us. In the meantime, the antidote has been secured in the surgery's medical cabinet. The password is blah blah blah. I entrust you with a special key. That silly file I acquired from the that conceited trickster, Danton. I suppose he thinks the file musing. The price of his discretion, I'm afraid. It's, sen uh, it's sensitive to speed, 829, temperature, 30, and time, whatever the current astral pulse is, should you have the heart to use it. If anything goes wrong, forgive me. It is not to my great regret. Uh, it is to my great regret that I did not act sooner. Lem. Lem. Oh, doctor, what sort of trouble were you in? In any case, I've unlocked the laboratory. Ooh, this doesn't look good. There's fungi everywhere. If I get even fungi. a little bit, if I, no. if I get even a little bit stuck on me. I could turn the whole lighthouse into a fungal forest. That definitely would not help, Kel. I should see if I can find out what's happened in there first. 
I got a okay. bad, bad. I've sat opposite this desk more than once. Colgas was a good man and a fine doctor. It's hard to believe I'll ever see him smiling back at me again. I've unlocked the door. I can go in. So wait, what do we need to do? Okay, what do we have? Um, we've got a bunch uh, of stuff. Make sure the mushrooms are not going to eat us. Hmm. I'm a little bit confused because every time the, the story moves ahead to a different room and I'm like, we need a file, no, we need this, now we need the passcode, now we need this, and then it keeps giving us new stuff, so I just go along with the ride for now. Somehow you've already infected with spores and don't know it, says they were. Spore problems for us. Okay, what, um... So we're meant to get into that, aren't we? The spore you know, says Mega Hammer. He's our kind of guy. The spore you know. <laughs> uh, do we... We can't unglue the door. That doesn't need ungluing. Who's no, who's the fun guy? The device for measuring for... I, I kind of missed what... Did you pay attention to what um, we're meant to be doing the here? The spore, the merrier. Uh, no, but if it's blue or... Wait, yes. Yes, 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 you did it. I did it. Yes, because you now put the password in this thing and it opens. No, this I didn't. When you hover the cursor and it's not blue, then you can click on stuff. You yeah, and you it. look at it. I don't think I did anything. Well, Apparently, when I was speed, text, temperature, I read, I read and this. time, whatever the current astral pulse is, unlock the cabinet in the surgical. This is what I was reading. This yeah, is but I don't think thing. I did anything. No. Locked. I need to find the key. Based on the locking mechanism, I'm looking for a file. A centrifuge for separating liquids held within files. But we don't have any files, do we? Is it file this under cool? And we still have that, don't we? Maybe my wand isn't as ingenious as thought because this won't work. Meow. Guy's tired. What's wrong? Everything. Dr. Colgas is dead. I feared that would be the case. I'm sorry, love. Lem was a good guy. The lighthouse keeper had, had security spy on Lem and the surgeon, Delarina Zato. I checked the doctor's computer. There was definitely something suspicious going on. I think it's had to do with someone called Estria. I see. Well, whatever it was, it's over now. He was trying to get this Estria off the lighthouse. Do you think she came through the star channel? I don't know. I'm sorry, I should get back to finding that antidote. Should be sorry. He wasn't much help, oh. was he? The recreation deck in a differently in a different universe, that's exactly where I'd have gone. Now is really not the time to go wandering off to the recreation deck. I have to save Kel. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe the toxin oh, God, was dispersed through the vents. I can't reach it, which is good, because otherwise I'd lose my fingers. I can reach the it passage to level 2 person. medical. Okay, um... Okay. The Looping Veil. It was the closest station to Elkin, where I oversaw the opening of a new military academy. My last official act as princess. Cal insists we stop off at this lighthouse before rejoining the main fleet. It didn't, didn't what? It didn't. I didn't mind. She wanted to see some old friends before I was, before I was sworn, in as empress. They've probably gone now, but I'm not going to lose Kel. I can't. Please don't let me and Kel be the only people left alive in the lighthouse. Okay. I want what have we missed? Like I, I feel like we're meant to be doing something, and I don't understand it because it's too complicated. What do you reckon? When you go to the mushroom room, they just kick you out? Well, so you need... You, you don't want to get any of it on you. Uh, which was it? Is it the laboratory? This doesn't look good. Oh, Mega Hammer is asking if we want hints. Um... So, we, we, we need to... Yeah, okay. I should see if I can find out what's happened in there first. Okay, so we need more logs, um, or do we need something to open one of those locked uh, cabinets? Well, that locked cabinet, it told 
the stuff that we needed for it. And like, I know we've got this pulse reader thing, which I think is meant to help with something. I just don't know what to use it on. Let me just, I already got a potion. There's nothing more I can need from here. Okay. Rest in peace, old friend. Okay, that's done. There aren't any more hidden items. If I'm going to concern myself with a body, it's going to be Kells before she ends up like Dr. Colgast there. Okay. Um, I'm confused about the right. Speed 21, temperature 30, and time, whatever the current... The current astral pulses unlock the unlock cabinet. Unlock the cabinet in the surgical area. But also, the cabinet in the surgical area apparently is going to be unlocked by a file, and I don't know where you get a file from. You don't have a file on you? No. One of the items is not a file? No, I don't think so. But time, whatever the current astral pulse is, do you work that out with this pulse reader thing? But what do I use it on? What has a pulse to measure? Uh, us and the other lady? Well, no, it's an astral pulse. Like, How weird, oh. I'm detecting a pulse coming from outside of the station. Nice. The reading is very faint from here. Okay, so oh, we... you need to go outside the catwalk or whatever? Maybe. Uh... Can you only go next to... Oh, okay. So you can go only from room to room. Okay. There we go. Let's click on uh, the whoops. cosmic void over there. Let's try this oscillator Yay. out. Lots of whirring and beeping. Wow, so Quinzar pulses 600 times per minute, which means 10 times a second. Talk about a rapid beat. I hope that comes up in the quiz someday. <laughs> I suppose that's the astral time figure, figure I need for the centrifuge. About oh, that's for the centrifuge. Time. Okay. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> centrifuge. Uh, do I use that with that? It's for separating liquids, it says. Okay, well, I've got the stuff for it. It's just now what? Use the portion in there because they're liquid. I don't but know. I said it doesn't need ungluing. It doesn't no. need ungluing. Yeah, woohoo, Mega Hammer. We're still stuck now. <laughs> it's the file thing that confuses Wait, me. Wait, what What if you go to this uh, thingy that was saying uh, the egg looking uh, thingy? What egg looking thingy? In the, in the room with the dead person. The second uh, dead doctor's person. Doctor's office? This yes. thing? Yes. Okay. No, it's just telling us what to do to unlock. Okay, okay. This, yeah. It's not much to look at without Dr. Carlson on the other side. Still suck. File. Where do we find a file? I think we're kind of done from this room. I feel like the medical area is kind of uh, where we need to be. I also like the use of your music because it's kind of like calming and at the same time stressful. As in like you're solving a mystery. Mm. Like you're running out of time to save your friends sort of vibe. It, it gets across. Wall panel. Wait, the doors are the glasses. While having really enough time to, uh, to, to read uh, exposition and reminiscence on uh, other people. Okay. Colgast and Zeta giving me the runaround. What are they up to? Bricks here was paranoid and irate. My lines. But the keeper must have had a reason to be suspicious as well. I'm not thirsty. The lens can emit a powerful high intensity beam. I shouldn't look directly into it. Oh, emergency message. It says there's been a fungal outbreak in the lab. Oh, this is telling you what's happened in the lab. <laughs> The bubble should keep- okay, this is probably what we should have done. The bubble should keep me safe from airborne particles, but I might need to take extra precautions if I plan to go in there. There's been a fungal outbreak in the lab. I need to find a way to protect myself. Yes. Uh, okay, something here. Oh. So, how do I- Is there something- Can I not just use this? Or is it, is it saying I need more than this? I guess it says I need more than that. You, should we ask for hints? Maybe. I, I just don't understand the file thing. 
Unless we're meant to be trying to get into the fungal room. We need extra protection to get into there. What would we need to protect ourselves? A suit, right? Take his suit. This guy was too shy to speak when we met in recreation yesterday. Whenever I show up someplace, it always throws things out of whack. Routines have to change. Shyer now. This time it looks like I got everyone killed. I can let myself think about that. I can't let myself think about that right now. Okay, so we're not going to take his suit, right? Ha! Mega Hammer says the must room. <laughs> <laughs> Fix the security terminal. The lighthouse keeper Kreb was having bricks keep an eye on Dr. Colgast, even updating his security pass to access the doctor's private office. Uh. Why is that red? The worker's memo said whatever the pipe was attached to hadn't been activated yet, but it looks pretty active to me. I can even hear it. He goes down to medical, which is where I need to be going. Ooh, I think we're going to be up going over time with the demos. It's really dark. I wouldn't go in there even if I had to, and I definitely don't. Uh -huh. Someone... Uh must enter the mushroom. Yeah, I got that, but they won't let us because we don't have enough protection. Uh, so as much as I appreciate the pun, uh, I don't know how to get in there. Hmm. Wait, what if you use the bubble on the door of the mushroom? Does it make sense? Um. Is it that simple? Is it there, the lab door? Yeah. Magic magical though, the bubble may be, I don't think that's going to work. I think it, it was saying you need more than that. Getting the right idea close. So we used we used getting the right idea close. So can I can I read the items a little bit? So we have uh, air bubble. To use for sp spacewalks, a wand, <laughs> ladder pass key, security pass, a sharp implement for incisions, a container with a sealed lid, a, po por a potion for ungluing, and a device for measuring pulse frequency. Container with a sealed. Hey, okay. Jaw! Hello. Oh, uh, co try combining them. Is the Luxtuck saying we, what we should do or just guessing? Can I can't, we open this? just cut my way through everything. Sure, you can. Just try it. It doesn't need ungluing. I don't know what else you'd okay. use together. No, we use that space pulse thingy. Um, I don't think so. So, well, can you use incisions from this cabinet that we can open? Not this one, the other one, right? From the previous room. No, you can't. You can't. So, we can open this cabinet. Uh, wait, what is this hanging? Well, we need the file. The... What's what? Hanging what? Is this interactable behind the map? That hanging kind of. Am I in the right room? Thingy that, yeah, on the bottom right. Bottom right, okay. No. Oh, okay, it's still interactable, okay. Uh, wouldn't want the fungus to stick to you. I yeah, know we I mean, don't. we've got the I glue. Mean, personally, I mean... personally, oh, we okay. Can't All I need to do now. is pour it on the bubble. Yeah, I, I did think of the, the unglued potion, but like, yeah, I didn't think to do that. Oh, wait, what do you do? I use the ungluing potion on the air bubble. Ah. Uh. Like okay. drops in the ocean, the bubble has absorbed the potion, it's got a slight golden glow, and now it should keep me safe from the fungi. See, I thought it was something to protect your body, it's like it's just, I feel, oh, does the bubble contain the whole of you? I always thought of it like a space helmet. Um, okay, yeah, I'm still confused, but sure, it is. Thanks to the aura projected by my bubble, there should now be no risk of fungi sticking to me. Feels like we're and thus contaminating the, in the an lighthouse. Hour. Say that again? Nothing. That's a big yay. The toxin that killed everybody should only have been released in the past couple of hours, meaning this fungal specimen's growth was extremely rapid. I really struggle to. I think the text is so big that it's hard for me to read it quickly to know how one it word connects to the next full, word. Yeah, if you have it full screen, you probably sit back. Yeah. Yeah, I should be reading like it from like, there. In the past. I know. I, I struggle. <laughs> Okay, kind of looks like a giant space nah, threw up. Real glad I'm wearing also, this bubble. Also, this game is mostly monologue, so it's on you to read everything. <laughs> okay, cool. Dead scientist. If I were to hazard a guess, this poor guy f 
fell when the toxin got him, accidentally releasing the specimen. Problems. It's a little late to impose containment procedures. Nashed fungal as well. If I want to take this with me, I'm going to need something to keep it in. We have something. Otherwise, I risk contaminating the rest of the station. Okay. Uh, that does it. Now I should be able to safely carry the fungal spore around. Uh, I need to be careful with this thing. It can grow really quickly. This is so much easier reading OBS instead. <laughs> Because it's smaller. <laughs> okay, it's sticky and upon closer examination looks to be breathing. Super, super gross. Lots of specimen like this doing in the lighthouse. What's this that? Light on this. Dr. Delorina, ah. Delorina Zato. We didn't speak much, but she had a special radiance to her. They Call were Gus. saying at least this game isn't in poorly constructed old English. <laughs> it wasn't the As your want. Yes. <laughs> Kolgar said he charged Dr. Zeta with possession of the key, but there's no way to check with all this fungus covering her. Oh, okay. Uh, let's cut her open. Oh, okay, I did not. <laughs> yeah, sound. Let's sound. see if I can hack some of this gunk away. It's really tough. Oh, poop. I dropped the knife. It's already swamped by fungi now. Oh, poop. Still, I managed to. Little miss uh, poo poo crap. crap. Still, I managed. Also, to... like, I want to say that see, it was like I can't go cutting everything. It's like, ooh, a human. Let's cut them. Yeah. Of course. Still, I managed to get this file she was holding, which I presume is Colgast's silly key. Unfortunately, it's lathered in fungus. I'm going to need to clear it off before I can use it. Okay. Uh. Dr. Delarina Zato, we didn't speak much, but she had this radiance to her, a warmth you could just feel whenever she was near. I told myself it was just my imagination, but it wasn't. I know that now. They were exposing the fungus to different light waves. One of the experiments showed a remarkable sensitivity to high intensity beams. Whoever ordered the tests was concerned about its efficacy in certain deployments. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Wait, what? The amount of people saying stuff like, actually, it's want, not won't. God, that sound clip rules. Uh, reading aloud well is a practice skill. You should think all of us read stuff online all day long, but having to do it aloud makes your brain work differently. Yeah, it does. Um, they were running tests on the fungus by exposing to different light waves. Okay. Uh, observation window. It's an observation window to another room. I can see more bodies on the other side. That's horrible. Specimen jars. Variety of plant specimens, none of which I recognise, and what might as well be sewage. Given they're sealed in a laboratory, I'd best stay away. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, drawers. The drawers are all locked. Looking at all this fun fungi, I'm willing to bet there's a good reason for that. We, we get a third uh, game in a row with locked uh, drawers. Wait, is that meant to be drawers or event? Oh, there is more drawers. Yeah, okay. okay, cool. Oh, I mean, you should vent, Sarah, and tell us about this. <laughs> right, so I guess we use a file coated in fungi. I can't seem to fit the file into the slot in the cabinet while it's covered in gunk. Oh yeah, okay, so we put it in the centrifuge. I can't seem to fit. I can't seem to fit the file into the slot in the centrifuge while it's covered in gunk. What was this? The fungal spore currently sealed. Gunk. How do we uncover it? Hmm. You need to clean it. Okay. How do we clean it? Do you remember anything? Favor says, even for mouth readers like me, who are hearing word sounds in their head instead of speed uh, ray readings, so weird. Uh, Deluxe gonna... says, in my technical class, they make us read laws and policies round, Robin style. I'm in a room with adults, and overwhelmingly, it reminds me of being in second grade, listening to my classmates struggle through wayside school for loud of class. <laughs> God, laws and policies. So okay, I'm gonna stick it. This file. I'm gonna stick it in the tea. What? Okay, sure. I don't believe that will help clear. Okay. Ah. I, I was gonna say I don't believe this either. But <laughs> it's an adventure game. We need to try. We just wipe it on this. I thought it was a good like... idea. <laughs> Wait, that's where I was. I don't even have voice acting anymore. Yeah, it feels like in this game, when you're done with a room, you don't really go back 
again. I mean, the fact that you can makes I mean, you wonder. I mean, we did, we did go oh, back we did. to we did. the stars. Yeah. Yeah. The security the... console, now we know what the emergency lockdown was all about. It wasn't fine. The hatch door is open now. Kel successfully yeah. hacked the access panel. What would I do without her? Okay. It's fine if we clean this vial. Vial, whatever. We didn't do anything. Oh, we did. We picked up that weird thing. Stick it in the pond. I don't know if I'm just looking at... Click on things. Wait, is that guy dead then? <laughs> oh yeah, dead body. Uh, I don't oh. think he was sleeping after all. You were yeah, right. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> he looks suspiciously dead. <laughs> so he goes, once he goes into the lab and it's like, ooh, so many sleeping people. Sarah, hmm. can we find something that's not space so that we can clean this file? A little bit more contained. Yeah, do you have any there? ideas? Yes, go inside the rooms. Oh, okay, where should I go to? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, I thought you had an idea. Place. Yeah, I don't think in the vast uh, space area we should clean the vial. What are these stupid things? Terminal, more like this guy looks terminal. We did. What's this like? Can we? Oh, it did do oh. it. The high intensity beam has burned away the fungus, revealing this vial. Uh, it's got to be the key Dr. Colgas was talking about. Okay, cool. Now to figure out how to use it. Boil it, mass it, stick it in a stew. I have fitted the file into the slot, but nothing happens. Something must be wrong. The file fits into the slot in the centrifuge. According it sounds, to keep like making it some. According to Dr. Golgast, in, or in order to create the right composition within the file to unlock the cabinet, the centrifuge is set to speed 829, temperature 30 Celsius, and 10 seconds, the equivalent to Quinzar's 600 pulses per minute. Oh, we got there? Eventually. <laughs> Here's hoping that did it. I can't imagine Kel has much time left. Yeah, because we took so long. Then we give I, us the Kel into those. I have fitted the file into the slot. Hey, that unlocked the cabinet. Go me. All right, there it is. The antidote to Plethora X. Let's get this back to Kel on the double. Now I need to Plethora explain this to me. Have a Plethora of options. Stab her in the eye. Found the antidote, Kel. Let's get it in you. You really found it? Wow, I mean, thanks. <laughs> I'm about to stick you with a syringe. You want to dial the insults back? Yeah, sorry. Oh. How do you feel? It's going to take some time to flush the poison, uh, the poison out of my system, so mostly what I'm feeling is just plain relief. I owe you, love. You saved my life, thank you. Yeah, you don't owe me anything. You've been keeping me safe for years. You know, that's not how our relationship is supposed to work, right? Since when was our relationship transactional? In any case, let's focus on what we do next. Have you noticed what's missing? The life uh... of the people? The lighthouse cust custodian, love. AVA. Uh, Ava? Mm -hmm. Where is she? She's immune to the toxin. She's immune to the toxin. That's, That's my line. She's immune to the toxin, but it's possible she was disabled as part of a wider attack on the lighthouse. Shed some light in this lighthouse. If we want to clear the toxin and send for help, we're going to need to find out what happened to her. Are you up for it? I don't feel like I have much of a choice. I'm sorry to say you don't, but you proved you can handle yourself alone out there. So can you do this all right? All right, where do I have to go? You have to go to our Kickstarter page and keep them back to the game, <laughs> so we'll play the full one. Go back down to medical. You'll be able to access Ava's core down there. The quickest, the quickest route is through the stasis chamber. If she's offline, boot her up if you can. We need her help. And as ever, be careful. Okay, but you promised to be back on your feet when I return. Oh, if you didn't give me poison, I'll do what I can. So, she doesn't have spore time to spur. Do you want to oh, read that? that? Ramp zap, a breathing rhythm that is not my own. Thumping that does not accord with what I know. I fear have always known, but it's different. Oh, are we going to have spore space monsters? Wait, what? Sorry. Uh, it's so, can you read this? Because it's so pixelated, yeah. I, don't, I can make up the letters. A power I have never screen. known, a quiver at the light of stars. When she moves, that light shifts, basks in it with eyes closed. My head, it's pounding. What's happening? 
It has been si <laughs> It has been silent. What is that her head? It has been silent here for so long. Now that silence has changed shape and I am alone. Who are you? I am a thousand stolen voices suddenly given potential. Potential for what? Hey, Remains Mr. to be seen. Globe, Focus. Get the hell out of my head, globe person. A moment longer, something is wrong aboard this lighthouse. Uh, yeah, everyone's dead. Yes, but why are they still here? What's that supposed to mean? Because they can't move because they're dead. I'm not certain. I can read now if you want. Yep. I'm not certain. The I'm not certain. The only thing that's clear is you should already know, but you don't. What else do you not know? I. What is this? I'm feeling the pain. It's shifting. You do not know pain. And you don't know me. I'm starting to. What just happened to me? It's like I blacked out. There was all that pain, then a voice and a face. A face I swear I know, or something like it. Whoever they are, they're on this lighthouse alive. They said they knew fear, but I didn't feel anything like... like, I didn't feel anything like that when our minds touched. Me though, I'm terrified now. So where are we going? Alright, I've made it to the stasis chamber. I can see the door Kale was talking about, but it's shut. Who the flippin' neck is that? Ava, whatever condition she's in, will be on the other side. Yeah, it's the sight of potential life here that's making me tremble. Kept safe by eddies of liquid nitrogen, the man's suspension instantly feels stronger than my own resolve. I won't have to do this alone much longer. Thank the navigators, the life support readout says the man's still alive. The pod has its own oxygen supply, so he should be protected from the toxin if he stays inside. Kel's injured Ava... Ava's off. Kel's injured. Ava's offline, and I'm flying blind. We need all the help we can get. Are you guys sure you didn't upload the full game instead of the demo? <laughs> Ooh, who, nice music. Who would want to stop me from taking the throne so badly they'd slaughter the, an entire lighthouse? Uh, Princess fungus. Love, thief of, thief of the dead. With any luck, it'll disqualify me from becoming empress. I found a memo. It reads, Mister. Mr. Blue, here arriving yesterday. We're still running preliminary diagnostics on him, but so far he's clean. Immigration papers are all in order, but owing to the princess's arrival, we're running extra security checks just in case. Should have him cleared by the morning. Hey, diskette. There's a diskette on top where, of the tank. Where, where it's at? You sure? Do you want to? You, what, uh... Sorry, you know I broke off at some point. You kept reading, and then I came back, so I'm a little bit. Oh no! Sorry, it. no. Completely broke off, and you kept going, and I was like, "What's going on?" No, I didn't know. Um. um... Oh yeah, yeah it's this guy. Oh the. the snow globe. The snow globe man. So the thing is, I got confused because I was looking at the snow globe guy, and then you suddenly were in this room reading stuff so what happened what uh, just some really weird cryptic stuff and then i came to this room okay sorry i had no idea you got you got cut off um yeah there's a diskette on top of the tank the only problem is that i don't see any diskette drivers in the room isn't there a diskette driver upstairs maybe, maybe. oh you pick up the disc yeah you did Anyone coming through a star channel must submit to cryogenic seat before being allowed to board a lighthouse. It's a security measure to contain potential viral outbreaks. This console details proper protocol. Mm -mm, main terminal. Oh. Yeah? I also noticed now that all the text colors are also the the palette of the game. So it's basically green, pink, and uh, mm -hmm. blue. Um, damn, the defrosting process is completely stalled. I've got to find a way to restart it, but the console is showing an error. There's a defrosting process of stalling to find a way to get it going again. Um, should I go and see if that was a diskette thing? Yeah, of course. There's a there, wait. There were some disks on this console. You're going back? Can I try? Oh, is that a, that's where the diskette thing? That's cartridge, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. I was thinking of this place. There. I'll just slot. 
this in here and let it do its thing. It says it's restarting the subsystems in stasis. Now no it says... wonder, Sarah, you got confused. We got a slot to do. <laughs> now it says the frosting process requires manual override from within the stasis chamber. I'll head back. Oops. Aha, the error has gone. Let's get the defrosting process going. There we go. The door to the core is now open as well. It must have sealed to protect a Ava when the error occurred. I saved Kel. I'm about to save this guy to have this guy defrosted. I'm not going. Nah. I'm not doing too badly, huh? You'll be out in no time, dude. Uh, did we open a door? Surgical error, oh, doctor's office, custodian's core. Wow. The, the custodian's core. I've never been inside one of these, but I've seen pictures. It's sad with its lights dimmed and the custodian silent. To get Wait, the looping what? veil's heart beating again, the core is going to need power. What's with her? Oh, uh, cartridge. I will have a look when I can see it again. Somebody must have dropped this cartridge in the chaos. Seeing as I'm restoring order around here again, I'll pick it back up. The label reads Auxil Auxiliary Power. That'll be handy. What, her foot? What's wrong with her foot? Uh, it's a little bit too big, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's the one's weird. further back and one's further forward. I yeah, guess. yeah. The logo's really cool, says the looks looks. These gemstones are basically part of the custodian, and if I remember rightly, essentially her organs. The image we see of her is just a vessel for our own convenience. This entire core is okay. Ava's body. That's not gross at all. Ava's organs, lovely. That's the lighthouse custodian, all right, Ava, but she doesn't appear to be active. The entire core's offline. I've got to find some way of restoring her power. Ava's out of juice, got to find a way to restore the power. Okay, is that everything in here? Juicy. Okay, so now I can go back to that room for the cartridge reader. Let's slip this in here and reroute the power to the core. Got stars. Where are you up to over there? Oh no, is it going to betray us? I'm activating the auxiliary power cartridge. Ava's got no power. Damn, the people behind us really thought of everything, huh? That's not all. There's a man inside a cryopod. He's still alive. I want to get him out. Hmm, I'm not wild about releasing someone we don't know. Well, I can't stand, but I don't see a lot of choice. Ooh. If Ava's down, then it's possible the stress signal hasn't been sent. No one's coming to help us? Seriously? It's a possibility. We well, are gonna be okay, right? We're gonna make it out of this. Yes, love, we are, I promise you. And you've never made a promise you haven't kept. There it works. It's rerouting power to Ava's core. You're doing great, you know, keep going. You know what? Yes, I am. But there's a room for improvement. There's room for improvement. There's mushroom for improvement. <laughs> Couldn't just let me have it. Well, custodians are known for their courtesy. At least I can count on a happy reception when I greet her. Cool. Okay, so we go back to the thingy. Um... Yeah. Whoa. You incompetent, bubbling fool, your highness. Excuse me? What's going on with this close up? The man in the stasis pod. That slave is snarl! You are defrosting an assassin. I stopped that <laughs> freeze where you stand. I stopped that process just moments before I was deactivated. How do you know he's an assassin? He's biomodified, regeneration enhanced strength and lungs capable of filtering a variety of toxins. He's a very toxic guy then. The pod was set to automatically defrost 30 minutes after the neurotoxin was distributed. When I realized who he was, I stopped it. And now you've gone and started the bloody process again. Then stop the process, freeze him back. I can't. My systems are still rebooting. Get back out there and deactivate it on the console. Uh, uh. Glowy organs. Here? Come on, deactivate, deactivate, deactivate. What do you mean it's too late to cancel? Ending sequence now may result in damage to the subjects and it is thus prohibited. The guy wants to kill me. You must find a means of preventing him from leaving the pod. 
I need time to lock down the core and protect myself. It's me he wants to kill. Then I recommend less talking, more doing. Oh, uh, what do we do? Stick a mushroom in it. This spore is gonna Ooh, grow nice. real quick. It should seal the pod. Haphazard, but effective remedy, your highness. It won't hold him forever, but it will afford me the time I need to seal the core. And of course, it will allow you time to escape this level. If he's able to break through the fungi, fungi, what's to stop him following me to the next level? This will give us poor time to spur. I will scuttle the, the exit. In the meantime, I suggest you make your way back up the maintenance ladder. Okay. Lock the Lock front, the front spore. spore. Love. What's wrong? You look terrified. We are in deep, deep trouble. Blood Nova! Thank you for <laughs> playing the demo! If you enjoyed this game, please consider backing the Kickstarter in January 2022. That's nine. We we'll very much appreciate your support. Let us. Do you have a link for chat? Let us find the link. Blood Nova. I do not, but I'm trying to find this now. I am just going to go grab my water because I'm a bit thirsty from reading. I'm going to paste. Okay, I'll be Let's back in a sec. Ah, there's Mega Hammer Studios logo. Ooh, cool one. Nice. Here's the link. The pronunciation of haphazard is really mint trick on new English speakers. How do you pronounce this? It's a haphazard to my tongue. That was really cool, the game. I I feel like, yeah, I wonder what's Back. going on now. Hello. Yay, You're thanks welcome. for making it, guys. Super Congratulations crazy. also Sounds on... Sounds uh, awesome. Congratulations on getting funded. You must be super relieved. Hmm. And you got like a billion days to go, right? Haphazard. Oh, I see. What's haphazard? Um, oh. Uh, the way you pronounce this word. <laughs> Wait, why is it? Hap why is it? I mean, haphazard. I oh, oh, haphazard. because you think it would be like ha haphazard, or what? Oh. Like ph, like haphazard. You're a haphazard, haphazard. Harry. <laughs> uh, 